Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Hello History. Now we are going to see the topic Indus Valley Civilization and its significance and its decline also. Okay, now let's start this. The history of uh, India begins with the birth of the Indus Valley Civilization. It is also known as a Harappan Civilization. Yes, it is flourished in 2500 BC in the western parts of South India. Uh, that is in Pakistan and Western India. It is the largest of four ancient urban civilizations of Egypt, Mesopotamia, India and China also. In 1920, Archaeological Department of India carried out an excavation in Indus Valley where uh, the old cities, two old cities were found. The, these cities are Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa. In 1924, John Marshall, Director General of ASI, Archaeological Survey of India, announced the discovery of new civilizations in the Indus Valley to the world. This is the area over here. This is the Indus Valley Civilization area. You can see here. It's Meghar, Dolvera, Kodiji culture. See every these are the important cities over here. This is the Indus River over here. This is the main region of the Indus Valley Civilization. These are some of the architecture. These are the, some of the sky, sky idols that uh, is made in Indus Valley Civilization. This is also called as a Great Bath. It is a it is a Great Bath over here, and people used to bath in this area. Okay. Now see the important sites of Indus Valley Civilization. First, uh, first week uh, we are going to see is Harappa. Harappa is an important place. It is excavated by Davaram Sahini in 1921. It is located in River Ravi, the bank of River Ravi. It is in Montgomery district of Punjab, Pakistan. Now it's present uh, present in Pakistan. The important find is sandstone statue of human anatomy and granaries and bullock courts, everything is there and second is Mohanjadaro uh, Mohanjadaro excavated by R.D. Banerjee in 1922 it is situated in the bank of river Indus in Larkana districts of Punjab and Pakistan the important findings in Mohanjadaro is great path, granary, bronze, a dancing girl and seal of Pasupati Mahadev and stated statue of Birdman a piece of woven cotton and these are the important uh, findings over here. And next is Sutkandar. Sutka Gendar. Okay. Uh, it is exhibited by Stein in 1929. In the south, it is located in the southwest Balochistan province, Pakistan, on Das Diwar. And the trade point between the Harappa and Babylon. It, it, uh, the important findings over here is a. Uh, it is a trade point between the Harappa and Babylon. See how significant is this. And Chahundaro, Chanhudaro. It is located in Sindh of the Indus River. The important uh, findings is bead maker shop and footprints of dog chasing a cat. These are some of the important things. And next is uh, these are so you can you can view view this. And Lothar, Lothar is an important, important place, and uh, it is uh, found by R. Rao in 1953. Now it's present in Gujarat on Bhokia River near Gulf of Cambia. The important uh, findings over, over in Lothar is first man-made port have found dockyard, rice hulk, fire altars, and chess play. These are some of the significant findings that is found in Lothal region. Next is Surkodata. It is found in J.P. Joshi in 1964. It is, uh, it is located in Gujarat. At present, at present, it is located in Gujarat. The important findings is bones of horses and beach. And Banawali is the next uh, region. And it is found in R.S. Bishat in 1974. It is located in Hisar district of Haryana now. And the important findings is beach, barley, Evidence of both pre Harappan and Harappan cult culture. Next is Dolavera. 
uh, it is found by R. S. Bisht in 1985. Uh, Gujarat in Rana of Kutch. It is the present location is Gujarat in Rana of Kutch. Oh, you can see here. The water harnessing system and water reservoirs are the important findings that is found in Dolvera. Okay, next you can see is the phase of Indus Valley Civilization. There are three phases. Early Harappan phase is 3300 3, 3, to 2600 BC and the mature Harappan phase is 2600 to 1900 BC and the late Harappan phase is 1900 to 1300 BC. So these are the important three phases of Indus Valley Civilization. And the town planning, we can see the town planning now. The Harappan culture was distinguished by its system of town planning. See, the town planning was Harappa and Mohanjadaro. There are two places, each had its own citadel or, or you can call it as Acropolis over here. And the city is laid by lower town containing brick houses that is inhibited by the common people. The remarkable thing of the arrangement of the house of the cities is that followed by grid system. Everything is by grid system houses. And the granaries are constituted over here. And they use the burnt bricks in Harappan cities. It is very remarkable. And the drainage system was very impressive in the Mohanjadro. It is almost the cities or big houses had its own courtyard and bathroom. See how uh, developed they are. In Kalibangan, many houses were had their wells in Kalibangan area. At the sites of Dolavera and Lothal, Gujarat, the entire settlement was fortified and section within the towns were also separated by walls. See, it is some of the, it is a sample of the township over here. See how the houses were built. And next we can see is agriculture. The important um, occupation of the Harappan or Indus Valley civilization people is agriculture. The Harappan villages are mostly situated near the flood plains. Produce sufficient food grains, okay. Wheat, barley, rice, peas, sesam, lentil, chickpeas, and mustard are produced, and millets were also found, okay. These are from the sites of Gujarat, and rice is used over there. Uh, the earliest people to produce cotton, Indus Valley Civilization people, and it is more difficult to reconstruct the actual agriculture practice over here. And uh, it is uh, the terracotta sculpture indicate that the bull was known and the archaeologist explore extrapolate shows oxen were also used for ploughing. See ploughing ox ox were used over here. And the mostly they are semi arid lands in the Harappan region and terrace of canals have been found at the Harappa site Shodgal in Afghanistan. Uh, this is Afghanistan, but not in Punjab or Sindh. The, terror, the traces of canals are found in Harappan state of Shodgal in Afghanistan. Okay. Although the Harappan practice agriculture, animals were also reared on large scale. Okay. The evidence of horse comes from the superficial level of Mohanjadaro. The evidence of horse is found in Mohanjadaro. So, horse is used and oxen is used. In the for the agriculture purpose, See, these are the, some of the archaeological sites they were found over here. And see, the, this is a sculpture. See a farmer who has a ox for a agriculture practice over here. These are some of the evidence. And now we can see the economy. The important trade life in the Indus people is witnessed by presence of numerous seals, uniform scripts and regulated weights and measured in wide area. Okay. Presence of numerous seals. Many seals were found uh, were used by the Harappan peoples. The Harappans carried a considerable trade in stone, metal, shells, etc. And they were uh, and the metal money was not used and the trade was carried by barter system. The trade was carried by a barter system, not uh, metal money they were using. They, they practiced the navigation of the sea coast of Arabian Sea. They used the Arabian Sea for the trade purpose. They had set up a trading colony in northern Afghanistan. 
which eventually which eventually facilitated trade within central asia over here they also carried commerce with those in the land of tigris and euphrates these are the important places tigris and euphrates and the indus and the harappan carried a long distance trade in lapis lazuli lapis lazuli which may have contributed to the social prestige of ruling classes over here see the some of the paintings this is depicted as a indus valley civilization economy life and see the coin used over here and some of the tools over here these are used by the indus valley people see these coins next is religion numerous terracotta figures of events the mostly the um indus valley civilization people are idol worshippers and the figures is mostly in women women idols they were worshipping over here fertility goddess and worshipped in the same manner of egypt egyptian worshipped the nile goddess isis see over here and the male deity is represented on seal the three horned head over here the god is surrounded by elephant a tiger a rhinoceros and has a buffalo below his throne at his feet two deer the depicted god is identified as pashupati mahadeva the depicted god is identified as pashupati mahadeva okay the numerous symbols of polus and female sex organs made of stone have been found you can see over this picture the people of indus region also worship trees and animals and the most important of them is one horned unicorn which may identified with the rhinoceros and the next important was humped bull and amulets have also been found in large numbers over here see these are the some of the important picture that is found in indus valley civilization and this is one of the idol that the indus people have worship and what is the decline of indus valley civilization how the indus valley civilization has been declined the indus valley civilization declined around 1800 bce but the actual reason behind its demise are still debated nobody knows till now what is the actual reason for the decline of indus valley civilization one theory claims that indo european tribe that is aryan invaded and conquered the indus valley civilization in later centuries various elements of indus valley civilization are found with the suggest of civilization did not appear suddenly due to invasion on the other hand many scholars believe natural factors are behind the decline of indus valley civilization the natural factors could be a geological and climate and uh, uh, tectonic disturbances also happen some archaeologists were saying that tectonic disturbance happen and it causes a earthquake which uh, tends to a decline of indus valley civilization and another natural reason might be changes in the pattern of rainfall there could be a dramatic shift in the river course which might have brought flood to the flood produ food producing areas okay this is uh, these are the some of the declining facts of indus valley civilization due to combination of these natural causes there was a slow but inevitable collapse of indus valley civilization over here so now we have saw the indus valley civilization and its significance and its decline so thank you